Hi everyone, this is Top 3D Shop, and in this video, we are going to tell you about Annette A6 and Annette A8 FDM 3D printers. Annette A6 and Annette A8 are perhaps the most popular DIY 3D printers. It's an affordable alternative to the legendary, but not so cheap, Prusa i3. Supplied Annette devices are fully disassembled. They say it might be difficult to assemble them on your own. To bust this myth, we have recorded the entire Annette A6 assembly process. After assembling the frame and linear rails, the engineer is installing the stepper motors and the heated bed. After that, he is installing the extruder. Meanwhile, let's talk about the A8 model. The low price of these devices is really attractive to the customers. With the right configuration, the printers can handle a wide variety of materials. You can also modify the 3D printer to fit a particular project. On Thingiverse alone, there are dozens of mods and upgrades available. Both Annette A8 and A6 have an acrylic frame, a single nozzle extruder, and a heated bed. The temperature range of the printer makes it possible to work with all common plastic materials, ABS, PLA, HIPS, PVA. Some may say this design is too simplistic, but we do believe that this is actually an advantage. It means an easy node access for setting up and upgrading your printer. You can prepare a 3D model for Annette printers using any available slicer. A flash drive with Cura and Repetier host installation files comes with every printer kit. Back to the Annette A6 assembly. Engineer is installing power supply and display. Then he is placing the controller board and limit switches. There is no paper manual. All the documents are stored on a flash drive. You can find several assembly videos on the web. Though some of them are obsolete, since the manufacturer makes design changes from time to time. The final stage is switching on. The engineer is connecting all printer components together to the main board. The A6 printer is now ready for use. The entire assembly process took the engineer less than three hours. Now let's compare both models. Annette A6 and A8 have a similar design, but they also have significant differences. Firstly, the A8 is larger than the Annette A6, at the same time, their build volume is almost the same. The second big difference is the placement of the extruder. Extruder of the A6 version is placed horizontally. They say this allows for increased stability as the frame is less prone to vibrations. Finally, the A6 is easier to operate, with a more useful display, convenient tuning knob, and an audio signal at the end of printing. However, the Annette A8 is the more popular model. It's a bit cheaper, and this is an important factor when choosing a budget-friendly printer. Plus, you can find more tutorials, both official and custom ones. If you're building a 3D printer yourself, there's no such thing as too much information. One more thing. User Community offers a lot of modifications for the AA on Thingiverse. Both models have very good printing results, especially if you consider their low price. Yes. Building a net is going to be harder than Lego, especially if you're just making your first steps in 3D printing. But the mission is possible. Just take your time. The low price, high printing quality, numerous mods and upgrades, and a community of raving fans. These are reasons to buy the Annette A6 and A8 printers. These devices are a great tool for enthusiasts who don't want to go over budget, enjoy tinkering and perfecting their printer part by part. Want to find out more about Annette A6 and Annette A8 3D printers, or even buy one right now? Just head straight to top3dshop.com. Have more questions? Please leave a comment, call us, or visit our website. Our contact information is in the description below this video. We will help you choose a 3D printer that's best for you. If you enjoyed this video, subscribe to our channel and hit the like button. See you soon!